Hi, welcome to series of grammar lessons. Friends, before we begin today's session, can you please answer these questions? Can you tell me what is this? This is an ox. Now, what do we call more than one ox? Can we say that oxes? If you thought oxes, then you are wrong. Okay, let me ask you one more question. What is this? This is a photo. Now, what do we call more than one photo? Can we call photos? If you thought photo, then again you are wrong. Okay, let me ask you another simple question. Can you tell me what is this? This is zero. So what do we call more than one zero? So if you thought zero as Z E R O E S, then you're wrong. Are you getting confused? All right. Let's understand about this concept in today's session, known as singular and plural nouns. So let's get started. Friends, if you have not yet subscribed our channel, then please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest videos notification. So let's begin. Let's look at singular and plural nouns separately. The first we begin with singular noun. The singular noun names one person, place, thing, or idea. Or we can say that the singular noun is the name of one person, one place, one thing or one idea. So let's look at some examples in sentences. The cat catch the ball. So in this sentence, the cat and the ball are singular noun. Let's look at one more example. The boy holds a phone. So in this sentence, the boy and the phone are singular nouns. And friends, if you want to learn more about noun and types of noun, then please visit our channel and watch these videos. Now let's move to the very important topic of this session and that is plural nouns. Most of the time we get lots of confusion while making the singular into plurals, while writing emails, letters and paragraphs. So let's understand the plural nouns. A plural noun names more than one person, place, one thing or more than one idea. It is more in numbers. Now let's look at some examples in sentences. The boys are holding the bats. Here boys and bats are the plural nouns. Let's move to the next example. The cats always catch the mice. Here the cats and the mice are the plurals. Let's look at Another example, people stole my ideas. Here, people and ideas are the plural nouns. Now, let's have a look at some rules while using plural nouns. Many people have no idea about rules of plural nouns. And that's the reason oftenly they do mistakes. So, let's understand the rules one by one. The first rule, most singular nouns just need S to become plural. Let's look at some examples like cat. To make it plural, we just need to add S. So when I add S here, it becomes cat. Similarly, dog become dogs, girl become girls, car become cars, street becomes streets, boat become boats, etc. Now let's move to the second rule of plural noun and that is if the singular noun ends in s or double s or sh or ch x or z. If any singular noun ends with these letter then to make them plural we just need to add es at the end of that word. Let's look at some example. Bus. So bus ends with s letter. As per the second rule, when singular noun ends with s letter, 
Then to make into plural, we need to add es. So we have added es to make it plural. Similarly, truss become trusses, wish become wishes, church become shirts, tax become taxes, etc. Now let's move to the third rule of plural noun. That is, if the noun ends with f or f e, then we need to change f or f e into v e. After we have to add s to it. So here letter f and letter f e will be written as a v e. Then we add s to it. So let's look at some example like wife. So this word ends with f e. So as per the third rule, the letter ends with f e or f. We need to write them as a v e. Then we have to add s to it. So so your wife in the place of f e I write v e here. Then I add s to it. It becomes wives. So wife becomes wives. Similarly, knife becomes knives. Leaf become leaves. Scarf becomes scarves, and life become lives, etc. But here there are some exception. Exceptions means the rule doesn't work with few plurals. Let's look at them. Like roof, R double O F. So roof word ends with F letter. So as per the rule, when we make it plural, we need to add V E in the place of F. But here in the place of F, we cannot write V E. So the roof become here roof. Just we need to add here S. Similarly, the belief become beliefs, chef become chefs, chief become chiefs, etc. Now let's move to the fourth rule of plural noun and that is if a singular noun ends in Y and the letter before the Y is consonant, then to make that into plural noun, we add I E S to it. Example city. This word ends with Y letter. So before this Y letter, there is one more letter that is consonant and that is tree. So here city becomes cities. So we are adding here I E S. Similarly, puppy become puppies, country become countries, story becomes stories, etc. Now let's move to the fifth rule of plural nouns. If the singular noun ends in Y and the letter before the Y is a vowel sound, then to make it plural, we need to add S letter. Example, toy. You can see here the O is a vowel sound and it has been used before the Y. So as per the fifth rule of plural noun, any singular noun ends with Y letter and before that Y letter, if any vowel sound is used and to make that plural, we need to add S to it. So here the toy become toys. Similarly, the ray become rays. The monkey become monkeys. The boy become boys. Highway become highways, etc. Now let's move to the sixth rule of plural noun and that is if the singular noun ends with O letter and to make it plural we need to use ES letter. Example potato. The potato word ends with O letter. So as per the sixth rule of plural noun if any singular noun ends with O letter then to make that into plural we need to add at the end of that word. So a potato becomes potatoes, tomato becomes 
tomatoes, etc. But here also we are having some exceptions where few plural nouns will not work with this rule. Let's look at some example like the photo. The photo word ends with O letter. The rule says that whenever O letter comes, we have to use ES, but we cannot write photo as a photos. Some people do this mistake and they add ES to it. So here the photo ends with photos. Just we need to add S to it. Okay. So the photo becomes photos. Okay. Similarly, the piano become pianos and the zero becomes zeros. We cannot add here ES to it. Right. Now let's look at the seventh rule of plural noun and that is some plural nouns change the spelling of singular nouns. Example, child become children. So here the spelling got changed. Similarly, goose become geese, man become men, woman become women. Tooth become teeth, foot become feet, and person become people. So like this, few plural nouns change the spelling of singular nouns. Now let's look at the eighth and the last rule of plural noun, and that is some singular nouns don't get changed when they become plural. Okay, I mean they remain same even in the plural form. Example, like sheep is a singular noun and when I make that into plural noun, it never change. It remains same. So the plural form of the sheep is sheep. Similarly, deer become deer, species become species, etc. So friends, hope you got complete information and ideas to work with singular and plural nouns. And friends, if you have any question for me, then please ask in the comment box. I will help you up there. And if you want to upgrade your knowledge, learning spoken English, grammar, computer, interview skills, etc., then kindly visit our channel and subscribe it and upgrade yourself. So, thanks for watching. Take care.